Hi class, in lesson 5.1 you will be introduced to ratios. Learning targets for today, you will write ratios as part to part and part to whole relationships, represent ratios using models, and use models to determine equivalent ratios. Key term to look for today in lesson 5.1 is ratio. Turn to problem 2 on page 310, muffins to start your morning. The local bakery sells muffins in six packs. They sell the muffins in this variety. Three blueberry muffins, two pumpkin muffins, and one bran muffin. Answer number 1, letters A through F with your group members, and don't forget to label each quantity with the unit of measure. For number one, letter A, we should have three blueberry to six total, B, two pumpkin to six total, C, one bran to six total, D, three blueberry to two pumpkin, E, one bran to two pumpkin, and F, three blueberry to one bran. Answer number two with your group members. Ratios A, B, and C are part-to-whole ratios, and ratios D, E, and F are part-to-part -part ratios. Turn to page 311, answer number 3 with your group members. Here is what your table should look like for number 3. Please check over the numbers carefully and make sure that you have the correct number of muffins in each variety pack. Answer number four, letters A through G with your group members. For number four, letter A, the ratio is always through three blueberry to one bran, B, three blueberry to two pumpkin, C, two pumpkin to one bran, D, one bran to three blueberry, E, one bran to two pumpkin. F, two pumpkin to three blueberry, and G, three blueberry to six total. Turn to page 312 and answer number six with your group members. Model one, model three, and model five are all equivalent because model one has a ratio of three to nine, Model 3 has a ratio of 2 to 6, and Model 5 has a ratio of 1 to 3, which are all equivalent ratios. And Model 2 and Model 4 are equivalent because Model 2 has a ratio of 2 to 8, and Model 4 has a ratio of 3 to 12. Turn to page 313, problem 3, variety muffin packs. Two out of every five muffins are blueberry in one muffin variety pack. I would like you to answer number one, letters A through C with your group members. Here is what your model should look like for letter A. If you have to draw 25 total muffins, you can determine that there are going to be 10 blueberry muffins. For letter B, if there are 35 total muffins, this is what your model should look like, and you should be able to determine that there are 14 blueberry muffins. And finally, for letter C, if there are 8 blueberry muffins, there will be 20 total muffins. If the ratio is 2 to 5, you can draw the model and count the number of total muffins. This will conclude today's lesson on introduction to ratios. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.